My name is Dr. Fola McGrain, and I am the course director of the BSc Honours in Human Resource Management. So I'd like to um, take this opportunity to present our wonderful BSc Honours Human Resource Management course to you. So I'm going to just share my screen and um, hopefully you can see that presentation. So what does the human resource management degree aim to do? Well, it helps develop you as a student into a professional human resource practitioner. And what do those people do? Well, they build organizational cultures, they improve the effectiveness of employees in those organizations, and they help look after people who are, of course, the lifeblood of all organizations. So what are we covering in this presentation today? I'm going to give you some reasons of why studying HRM at Ulster is amazing what you'll learn, how you'll be taught and how you'll be assessed, how Ulster University supports all of its students so, so well. Here, um, what a couple of uh, my former graduates think and also look at potential future careers in the field of human resource management. So why study HRM at Ulster University? Well, we have three main reasons. There's personalised teaching and personalised support, and that's proven every year by a high national student survey score. Um, and I'll talk to you a bit more about our score in a moment. We moving on to our top class facilities. We are enjoying a wonderful new state of the art Belfast City Centre campus um, and again talk to you more about those and also um, we enjoy so much support from businesses and all different organisations in terms of providing placements and also in terms of sponsoring prizes and again I'll go into that in more detail now in a moment. So first of all our Belfast campus here is just a view of one of our blocks and um, it's right, right in the centre of Belfast, in the centre of um, a business district, shopping district, everything that you could need. And with the accommodation is literally next door um, to us. And again, brand new accommodation, which is excellent. We're delighted to say that President Biden, um, the US president, recently officially opened our new Belfast campus. Um, so you can see the level of attention and the kudos we're achieving around the world um, as a top class university. In terms of the National Student Survey, that is an independent survey conducted by students for students all around the UK every year. So no um, influence by um, the university. So students themselves rate all different courses at universities and we were rated with a glowing 92%, which in degree terms is a first class honours. Um, so we are absolutely thrilled to have that score um, this uh, past year. I'm waiting for our latest score um, to come out in 2023. And here's an example of prize giving. So here we've got um, one of my former um, HRM students um, receiving a prize for winning an award um, from her project module. And to the side of her here is a representative from a recruitment company called Staffline who sponsored the award and um, also from the university, one of our course directors. So prize giving happens at the end of every academic year and it's a wonderful place to be acknowledged for all of your hard work. Um, and especially for those who win prizes, then their family and friends have a lovely evening together. So. In terms of Ulster University and how we differ from other universities and how this degree differs from others is that we want to make sure that our students are developed in terms of who they are, their being, as well as their knowing, which is their academic component, and also their doing. So the hands on implementation of the skills um, that the students learn. So we use this model by Varnish and Coach called Being, Knowing, Doing. And you can see then that um, if you want to download and study this presentation in more detail, you can see how 
um, those three areas of being, knowing and doing are materialised in the particular course and also um, how it relates to um, the Chartered Institute of Personal Development, um, which is uh, the professional body of human resource management practitioners, um, which you become a student member of. Now, the next area that's very, very important is the sustainability um, heat map for human resource management. We take our sustainability very seriously at Ulster University and we are partnering with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, also called the Global Goals. You can see them uh, from 1 to 17 written across the top of this um, page. And then here's a snapshot of just some of the modules. These are really the first year into second year modules and how each of those modules correspond with the individual global goals. So sustainability is built throughout the degree. It's also built throughout business and management today and human resource management. So it's very central to your studies and central to who you are and who you are becoming. Now, also very important for students is that what do I do after university? So I've decided to include this slide, which shows you um, how building your employability, building your skills for employment and your readiness for employment are contained throughout the four years of the human resource management course. So year one, year two, year three, year four, we've got professional association, we've got working with employers, um, we've got working with other business schools, um, we've got recordings in uh, purpose-built skills lab labs um, where you will be recording each other in year two and recording actors who are often graduates um, and placement providers um, in year four conducting a human resource management interview. So um, it's a wonderful uh, way that the employability is built throughout every year of the course, um, making you more and more employable. Obviously, first of all, aiming up to your placement year and then beyond. So what will you learn? So you learn the main functions of human resource management. You learn the ethical and legal dimensions in relation to human resource management. You learn the communication skills and the, the an analysis skills, including digital analytics that you need for your career to become an effective human resource management practitioner. So in a broad view, here are each year laid out for you. So first year are the fundamentals of human resource management. Second year, you're learning the process and skills. Third year is placement year. And the fourth year is your final year applying the knowledge that you've gained both from placement and in your previous two academic years. Now, to help you to see those individual modules in more detail, I've placed them here on a slide for you so you can see um, year one, year two, year three and year four. So in year one, you've got fundamentals of HRM, academic foundations for human resource management um, and introduction to management and leadership. Then in the second semester, you've got economics and financial awareness, employability and the human resource profession and the introduction to employment law. In year two, you've got contemporary issues in HRM, personal and professional development, HR and people analytics, learning and development in the workplace, business ethics and sustainability, and managing people and culture. Third year is your placement year, which you can do um, locally, or you can choose to go abroad and do the study abroad scheme, and both of which lead to um, diplomas. And then back into your final year, you have um, some modules and also some options. So you've got the Advanced Professional Practice module, Equality, Diversity and Inclusion or EDI. And then you have um, an option of choosing between psychology at work or coaching and mentoring. Um, and you also have your management project and a module on leadership and change. So that's an overview of your four modules. Um, all of these have been updated um, this past couple of months with our latest course revalidation. So every five years, a course is revalidated and, and uh, brought up 
to the cutting edge in terms of being most up to date in terms of everything possible that you need for human resource management. So this is um, the absolute freshest degree in HRM that you could possibly get. And then we are into more details on your placement year. So placement year is strongly supported. Um, that is for us to make work ready graduates. You, you want to be work ready, work fit, future fit graduates. So we place a lot of time and investment in supporting you in that area. So we've got an individual employability department and a lady, Cathy Moore, who helps us particularly in our department. Um, we've got a handshake, which is a wonderful piece of software. And if you just look to the side, you'll see more details there. And there is listed all available placements um, and you can apply via this portal um, for those placements. So it's incredibly easy for you. Employers hop on and place their placement information there. Uh, we've got a placement tutor specifically for your degree. And then there's a placement office that helps to monitor um, everything that's happening on your placement. You get a placement um, supervisor, um, you get a placement visit, and then it is also a module. So you also have assessment to produce at the end of the year, and then they um, manage all of that as well. So there's a massive infrastructure that goes into that placement year and it really is transformative for the student. Hmm. So good to know it's a paid work placement year, very well paid um, in terms of, uh, you know, other uh, potential student rate related jobs, which are often at minimum pay. So um, it's a paid work placement year and we've got long standing placement providers in the public, private and voluntary sectors. And you can really take your pick in terms of uh, the type of company that you'd like to work for and apply, of course, um, for a placement there and um, uh, then um, hopefully get awarded your placement. This gives you real life work experience where you apply all you've learned, you get an extra award as a result of doing the diploma. And what we've found is that the students who um, are on placement, they come back and produce a higher final degree classification um, as a result because they really understand their profession and how to apply the knowledge that they've learned and therefore their assessments are so much better. And also it leads to professional employment within six months of graduating. Um, so some students on other degrees do not get into professional employment, but this human resource management degree is specifically tailored for that industry who are crying out for human resource professionals at the moment. Um, so it's a wonderful career area to be going into and to know that um, th that in, with every likelihood you'll be working in a professional capacity in that field within six months of graduating and of course help placement helps to build your own um, network of human resource practitioners and providers for future employment as well. So how will you be taught? So Ulster is a face-to-face -face university. So you will have face-to-face -face classes. You'll have three modules per academic semester and there's two semesters per academic year. So runs from the end of September into January and the second one runs from the end of January into uh, May, usually depending on uh, the date of Easter and the Easter two week Easter vacation often falls in the middle of semester two. So modules are normally delivered in three hour blocks. So if you've got three of those in a week, that's nine hours and they're normally divided over two or three days, um, which allows you those um, couple of days um, for study and also for part time work if you needed that. Um, also, then you've got a lot of personal study support. I'm going to show you a student portal shortly, which I think is one of the greatest aids for any student. You've also got um, some great colleagues manning our Blackboard help desk. Blackboard is the name of our VLE, our virtual learning environment, where you find all your PowerPoints and materials for class. And we've also got an amazing new library and a wonderful librarian that I'm about to introduce you to. Um, our Approaches by blended learning. So we use quizzes, PowerPoints, videos, presentations, guest speakers, visits, the whole works to um, 
educate you in as many different ways as possible to suit your particular learning styles. And also your lecturers have practical industry experience. So I've worked in human resource management in um, Sydney, Australia, as well as in Northern Ireland, and also have um, completed my PhD in a particular area of human resource management. So I said I'd mention uh, or I'd introduce you to our embedded librarian, Sarah. So this is Sarah Smith and Sarah is based in the library and is devoted specifically to us in uh, Ulster University Business School. So she looks after our course and gives everything from um, individualized um, classes in searching the library databases in which Ulster University invests an incredible amount of money. Um, teaching you how to reference, teaching you how to look up books, teaching you how to do academic writing. Um, really a, a wonderful resource um, for us there um, provided through Sarah. Now, next most important question that you'll be asking is how will you be assessed? So I'm delighted to report that in our new structure, all of your assessments are through coursework. That means there are no exams no exams. We used to have coursework plus exams. Now it's 100% coursework. Now in that coursework, there are numerous forms of assessment and you'll see that in a moment in our uh, sample assessment schedule. So you could be doing everything from written reports, working on real case studies, doing online tests, uh, recording presentations, writing personal reflections, making infographics and podcasting. You could be working individually on assignment or you could be working in a group. And what we do is we try and localize and personalize our assignments um, to help you um, again prepare for work and also to make sure that you are producing your own work and um, that's needed for your course. So that's that we achieve through localized and personalized assessments. So I said I'd, I'd show you a sample of an assessment schedule and here one is and you can see um, if you want to zoom in um, closely. As I'm doing here now, you can see you have reflective portfolios, group presentations um, making a LinkedIn profile, making a screencast or having a written assignment. So there are many um, different assessment options and the wonderful thing I think um, is that in your induction week, which is the week before week one, so we call that week zero, you can be given a copy of your assessment schedule so that you know in advance um, the particular weeks when you have to submit work um, so that you can sort of plan your life around those. I wish I had been given those when I uh, was doing my undergraduate degree. So you can see that we're really doing everything possible to help you um, in your university life. So how will we support you? So we'll, as well as everything we've already said, we will be um, mentoring you. You'll have a project supervisor helping you team up with student buddies. Um, we have an open door policy in terms of meeting all your lecturers. Um, you have numerous online resources through Blackboard Learn. Uh, the library resources I've spoken to you about, that career and employability office, um, which I've already mentioned, and various other supports like the student support and well-being, um, counselling, uh, money advice and the chaplaincy and the sports services. So again, wonderful new sports services available on our new campus. And in terms of student feedback, the following two slides are quotes from uh, recent graduates of mine. So my entire university experience has proven to be an incredibly enjoyable one. This course has given me valuable experience and knowledge that will benefit me greatly in my current and future employment. And another said, overall, the entire four years of the course, including placement year, have been extremely enjoyable. I've learned so much both about the field of HR as well as learning about myself personally throughout the course activity and exercises. I am so happy I de decided to study this topic at Ulster University and I believe it will take me very far in life. So two lovely quotes there from our graduates. So the course is designed to give employers what they want as well as giving you what you want, because ultimately you want to gain employment and you want to be work fit. So what do employers want? Well, they want, first of all, that you have your degree and also your professional membership with your professional body, which is the CIPD. 
they want you to be able to solve practical problems and you start off with a creative problem solving module from year one. The ability to project manage and work in teams. And again, you'll be doing that throughout your assessment and through your in class activities and your ability to articulate and communicate your ideas. And again, you'll be doing that. You've numerous opportunities to do that um, in your tutorials and in your seminars, as well as indeed in your main lecture classes. And then, of course, through your assessments. So there are so many careers in human resource management and our graduates are in very high demand and very much so at the moment when there are so many um, more jobs available in HR than there are HR people. So it's a really great profession to be working in. So we have numerous different organisations um, that are always employing um, our graduates and you can see uh, some of them listed there. Everything from management consultancies through to private sector financial companies through to public sector and the volunteer sector. And the roles include being a HR admin officer, HR advisor, recruitment consultant and a HR officer. And the course is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Personnel Development. And this last page here is, is really just an overview of the whole course. Again, um, if you want more information, if you go to ulster.ac.uk forward slash courses, you will see um, this page on the human resource management degree. And here is the Ulster University website. I'm sure you have it already, but it's ulster.ac.uk. And if you have any specific uh, questions, if you email study at ulster.ac.uk, then we will get back to you in terms of that. And if you're ready to apply, I'm sure you also know this um, address, which is the OCAS address, which I used myself many years ago. Um, so ocas.com um, for your application. So I just want to finish by saying thank you very much for your attention um, during this presentation. We would be so thrilled to have you come and join us at Ulster. We really are a very large family who really care for each other, care for you at university, as well as caring for you beyond university. We have a wonderful HR network of people as well as an alumni um, network as well. So and um, so many other networks and clubs and societies at Ulster. So I really know that you would enjoy this degree as well as enjoying our wonderful new city centre campus. And I look forward to meeting you on the degree. Make sure you come and say hello. Thanks very much. Bye bye.